This is Omar for Box Nation, a brilliant, magnificent seven card uh, put on by Queensbury and TNT Sports Live this Saturday from Birmingham, not too far from Nathan's hometown. So, but it doesn't really matter. You could go across halfway across the world to Africa, and you'd have uh, all your support coming yeah. out for you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's it, basically. An hour away from Stoke, but but they're coming out in massive numbers again. There'll be two thousand Stokies in there on the night. So, yeah, it's great because it's the first time we've been together since the fight the last fight and and the first time we've all been together since the season finished as well because obviously football finished right around that same time to be fair so yeah it's going to be good I think everyone's going to be looking forward to it Smug and arrogant Brad Pauls I didn't expect that yeah just, yeah, just I just you can just pick sort of things up when you see someone the way they smile and the way they you just yeah and the way they talk about, about you or like I said before when I mentioned about the the one word answers like when they asked me what I thought of Brad the first thing I said was strong like I said the first thing he said was popular it was nothing to do with boxing ability so it was like see like like i say you take that as a slide but hey -oh, it was only my opinion yeah fair enough i mean considering so you thought you won that fight with brad you beat denzel bentley when you were a massive underdog yeah do you believe he's not really giving you the credit for your career so far yeah it's, it's not it. listen he can only, he can only go off his last performance now because he had two very good rounds he's he's now turned that into he had a very good fight but, but like i said the first seven rounds I was winning comfortably. Obviously, I let them two rounds slip. But after the fight, I thought it must have been 10, 10 eight rounds. I thought they could score it like that. And then I found out you can't do that. So it was 10, nine rounds, regardless of how big you won the round. And I still finished the round strong. But yeah, it's what it's one I made. But, but it's just for me to now just to do the job, do the tasks I'm set out to do, and do it properly. A convincing Nathan Heaney win this side. Absolutely, absolutely. Deb asked him. Can you hurt Nathan? Of course he's going to say as a fighter, I can. Yeah. But you've shared many rounds with him. You went with him the full distance. You truly believe in this rematch. He can't hurt you at all? Oh, like I said, anyone can hurt you. Like any, Even people that can't punch can hurt you. If you let them catch you, and that's the key word, if you let them catch you. But have you got a fear factor with him or not? Well, y y you've got the... Not, not the fear factor, no. But, but, I know we can, but I know we can punch. So yeah, but that's that that doesn't, but that's yeah. It's weird. I got the fear of drawing again. So that's, that's, so that's a fear. Yeah. So so technically you could say yeah, fearing, but I don't feel fear him as a fighter itself. Mm. Uh, so I guess you're making a comparison there. At any point in the fight, even though you were dominating Denzel, he can switch your lights off at any that's point. That's the difference. So Denzel Bentley, like when like I said, when he walks into the ring, I remember thinking. Oh my God! This is happening! Oh my God! Oh my God! This is happening! Like, cause, because, like, see, you see what he's done to people in the past, and and yeah, that's a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous fighter. Hmm. But like, but like I said, but it's just good to prove if you switch off, anyone can hurt you, and he can't. He can punch. He's a strong puncher, but but yeah. There are some massive things domestically going on in this middleweight division. So if you can, you know put that wrong as a right in terms of on paper it's a draw yeah. if you can get that win against Brad Pauls which is your ultimate focus this Saturday night I mean you've got Shiraz Denny Eubanks looking for a big fight um, Denzel Bentley's come back on a, on a good run of form he's in a, another fight against Derek Kazazi there's there's so much going yeah, on yeah, well to be fair big, we want the big fights only now like, like I say I've done everything that's on me winner well, of Shiraz Denny yeah but, but why not but if you're in this position now in your career why would you not win the big fights like that? That's not me calling Shiraz or Denny out. That's just that's just a fact. No, but that's a natural like, fight yeah, to make. That's just yeah. So it's there. Like, in, but yeah, that that's what we want. But although to be fair, I mentioned you, Bank. Apparently, Mate, look, listen. Let's make no mistake. I said yes to Carlos Adams. So like for the WBC world well, title. What happened there? Then? That was just. I think the, the draw messed up the rankings for the WBC, so I couldn't be a mandatory for that title, which would have now been the full WBC title, or would have been if we'd have fought in June at the ground. Um, and then, yeah, but listen, so it's, it's, it's just whatever big fight's there, that's what, that's what I would want, it, provided I'd, like you say, win the fight. Of course, exactly. of course. In that list, I didn't mention Eubank Jr. I'm, I know him and Shiraz actually failed to reach an agreement. Hamza's side wanted that fight. Were there actually proper talks about you and Chris having a fight? Uh, there was certainly talks, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just whatever, whatever can stop things from happening. I haven't got a clue, so that's it. But I'm, I suppose that's the business side of things. He's trying to go for Canelo now. Well, yeah, well, well, I, I get it. Listen, he's got the name. That's what he's got. He's got the name. I, I don't think he beats Shiraz, so I, I understand why he probably didn't do that fight because unless he's getting paid ridiculous amounts of money, which he possibly could have, who knows? I don't think he beats Shiraz. 
but but yeah, so he's got he's got he's, he's got to leverage his name, which is that's what that's what he's doing, and he's doing the right thing. But but it can be frustrating because obviously other people don't want to fight him. But then that's that's the business side of the game. But look, your headline in this card, big rematch with Brad Pauls. That fight, you know, was a fight of the contender contender of the year. Possibly, hopefully, for us fans, we get that again. Um, and then, as I said, Shiraz and Denny. That's on a undercard of a Wembley Stadium fight. Yeah. The two the two winners in that fight is a monumental fight in the division next. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I say, point you looking at me, but but it's very interesting to talk about it because because it is. Did like I say the division's right there's some like really big 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 fights, but the biggest one Saturday night. Final prediction for Saturday? Uh, just I will win. I will Nathan, win. Nathan, appreciate your time. Right, cheers, mate. Thank you.